Friday night family truck project. Okay. First one yeah? of many, I think. So the steering wheel is upside down. The wheels are straight. Alignment's good. It drives well down the road. That's all good where it should be. So we're gonna try and take the steering wheel off, flip it over, put it back on. Plan, Cal? No. No? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what we got. I'm just gonna keep unscrewing things until the steering wheel comes off. Sounds like a solid plan. So much, there's not enough room in here. I can't actually get my head behind there. I can look <laughs> through the windshield. <laughs> So I got it off, basically just had to undo screw here, flat head, and then it uh, pops down and you can slide this off and then the horn just pops off like that. Uh, so now I need to undo this nut, keep it on, not all over, so just so it's loose so that we can kind of hit the steering wheel till it pops off. Um, if we took the nut all the way off, when the steering wheel does come, it's liable to smack you in the face, I've been mm. waiting. So, don't want to do that. We'll try to avoid that. Yeah. It looks like it's a 19 mil, so we'll just go ahead and pop that off. I did already loosen it. Just gonna hit it. And there we go. Nice. So I'm assuming that there's no airbag in this steering no. wheel. <laughs> no, definitely not. Okay. That's probably a silly question. And there we go. Nice. It's been bugging me. It's just kind of annoying to drive up here when you're supposed to be driving up here. Sure. So, all good? Looks great. Yeah. Got the grill popped off. Sarah is cleaning it, and then we're gonna hit it with some flat black spray paint. Not a huge fan of chrome, so we're just, um, but we actually don't mind it on the wheels, but uh, on the grill and stuff, I think we're gonna get rid of it, and we'll do the rear bumper eventually as well, and just tie a lot of the black accents in together. Should look good. Yes, definitely. Somehow I got the dirty work. Hey, I'm masking off um, the running lights, so. That's not fun either. Fair enough. <laughs> you helping, Cal? Oh, yeah, look at Got one masked off, and I'm doing the other one now. And then Cal and I are going to go ride bikes in the yard while Mom does some spray painting. What are you doing, Cal? You doing tricks? Got some windshield washer fluid for it today, and it is leaking a little bit. Um, it looks like it's coming from where? Yeah, do you want to try and stick this up in there? So just the hose coming off the bottom of the tank. Yeah, it looks like the connector. All right, well, add it to the list. Yeah. Um, okay, are we almost ready for? No, not quite. It's still a little humid, so it's not. The corners were a little heavy. Something looking good though. It looks great though. It's it's matting out. I like the mat. Yeah, I like the mat too. The mat finishing this. Yeah. Cool. Oh. 
boom sauce. Good stuff. So we are painting the grill, but we are leaving the Toyota badge as is. We'll put that back on there and we'll get the grill back on Rupert. But just these little things are ways that we can kind of make it our own, um, make it look the way that we want it to for the most part while we recoup some funds before we can do things like the ARB bumper, camper overhaul, um, all that kind of stuff. So obviously we just bought the truck a week ago. Um, we're just gonna enjoy it as is, and then we'll save our pennies for some of the other modifications or the more expensive modifications that we wanna do. These types of things are, are cheap, so we can kind of just do that for some fun of making it our own. So excited for that. We are taking both Rupert and my Forerunner uh, camping next week which will allow us to kind of trial run it uh see how it goes with the camper and all of that I'm not even sure where exactly we'll sleep but we'll have it all set up and we can kind of play with it and see how it goes um in an actual camping scenario so just because it's so new to us so we wanted to use it in a controlled environment until we just took it off and boondocked so we'll get there for sure but uh we're looking forward to a nice relaxing week at a campground as well yeah that'll be nice facilities shower yeah. bathroom yep grandparents yes <laughs> we'll get some help with cal get It'll some downtime this is not an overlanding trip by any means this is a vacation so nice vacation. Um, but we get to play with both rigs while we're on vacation so i'm certainly happy and sarah is uh sarah's getting there for sure yeah. especially with this with this one in the picture yeah, yeah. We just ate dinner, got Cal to bed. Uh, we gave him a bath first, hence the uh, change of shirt here. But um, we're going to finish up painting the front grill and get that buttoned up. And then uh, we'll tackle some more projects tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we leave for a week of camping with the family. So that will be fun. We'll definitely uh, document a little bit of that um, along the way. I'm hoping to get my new Dobinson's MRRs in my Forerunner up front. Um, but we'll see if I have time for that. I'm hoping we do. Do another Great. coat. Yeah. And then we'll let that dry a little bit. Yeah. And we'll get it on there. Tonight, do you think? Or maybe tomorrow morning, pop it on? Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see how long it's taken to dry. It's a little uh, less humid now than it was earlier, so. But it's yeah. also cooler. So we did pick up just a real basic uh, cup holder thing, but we need something to mount it on. Um, so we cut down a board and we're going to stain it and then we'll install it uh, into the truck with the cup holder installed onto that. And we'll put a little you know, cup or something like that up there too to, uh, to have some extra storage. But this will fit right in between the seats. It's a really narrow space, so this should be perfect. There you go. Push it around, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that green. <laughs> all right, all set. Looking good, babe. Okay, nice so job. I think we'll let that dry along with the grill. Um, maybe we'll come back out in a little bit before it gets dark and do one more coat. Let the grill dry overnight with three full coats. And then tomorrow we'll get it back on the truck and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so our center console panel is done and stained. I just need to measure and drill some holes to mount it into these two spots here. And then I'm going to pick up some 3M mounting tape later on to put onto these two pads here. Uh, and again, this is just an interim solution until we're able to source an OEM center console. Um, first look on eBay and stuff and to find one that's mostly complete is like close to 400 bucks, which is kind of crazy. It sounds like that's just what they go for because they're pretty hard to find in reasonable condition, but we'll keep looking, um, but this should do the trick for now. We got our holes drilled, we got our cup holder mounted, and now we just need to screw it in, and eventually I'll find like a little 
um, cubby or something to put on the front here, or I'll make something to go on the front just to give a little more storage. But uh, for now, this will do the trick. That will do for now. We'll get some 3M tape later today, but that's uh, one little project checked off the list. That's what happens when you get stompy in the mud. Bumper's back on, the grill's back on, I should say. Um, we did a little touch up on some spots right in the middle, it kind of pulled, so Ben sanded it down and just coated it again. Um, yeah, it was really simple. Looks good. The, yeah, super simple. I mean, it was very like, it's a very homemade project. Mm. Well, it was like, something simple to do yeah, just kind of quickly to just to it. make it our own, you know? Yeah, so we didn't touch the logo. We left the logo. I just cleaned it up with some uh, rubbing alcohol. Yeah. And just kind of got all the dirt out of it. Um, it looks good. Yeah. It'll, it's just it's something to make it feel like we did something to it. Yep. Make it feel more like ours. Yep. So um, I think next up we're going to pull this guy. Yep. When we get back from our camping trip, um, we'll strip it down. We'll reshape it as best as we possibly can. Um, we've never done metal work like that before so we'll we'll figure it out as we go big hammer. big hammer yeah and then we'll get some um and it's a little bit lighter than the body so we'll then uh recolor match it to yep. the body and it's just those little things that will go a long way um to kind of again making it our own and yeah, just kind of chipping away at some stuff taking care of them yep i did start um some of the Rust prevention, I got in there and I sprayed it all down with Osfo. I'll let that um, do its thing for the next week or so. And it's then when we get already. back, uh, we'll wire wheel it down and then start the pour 15 process. We'll just do a section of frame at a time. So we'll just you know do this section. Then the next week we'll do that section. Then the next week we'll do that over there and so on and so forth. I did uh, replace the radio with just a simple uh, $30 radio off Amazon. Uh, the old one was functional, but it didn't have an auxiliary in. Uh, this way we can listen to our own music now um, and we can charge phones off of the USB port there uh, until I hardwire some USB ports. I'll get a, um, I've got coming in the mail today, a 12 volt USB plug, so that will be nice. Um, assuming that works, I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, if not, we'll hardwire some um, some USB ports with some uh, fuse taps that I got. But uh, yeah, now we can listen to the music. Grill looks good. Uh, started the rust prevention or treatment process. Uh, then we'll move on to prevention and we'll kind of just keep chipping away at it. But for now, we're excited. Nice. Yeah, what do you think? I love it. I like the, the color came out nice. Yeah, we'll put a little so dish just, or something there. Yep, they just screwed right in. I didn't, and then, um, and then we just need to get to the 3M mounting tape. The yep. Maybe just like a strip. Yeah, yeah this will just be nice. It's... Phone, I can put my phone here. Yep. Or yours is up in yep. the command center there. And um, cup holders. Yeah, they're kind of nice. Like they're that. adjustable because then you can clamp them down too. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, I just, it's super functional for now. Yeah. And I don't mind the wood trim, so. No, not yeah. at all. I think eventually, I like the mahogany stain. Mm -hmm. So if we do, I really like this. Um, do that in other places. Similar, yeah. So in the, uh, the beams up on the roof. Right, we might we might stain those uh, a similar color. Any other cabinetry or anything As that we end up adding. We we'll probably do that color and then like a lighter color on the walls. Just yeah. to make it brighter. Yep, I think brighter that's a great idea. That'd be great. Thank you for doing that. Okay, well, the driver's side MRR adjustable coilover from Dobbinson's is in. 
that was a little bit more than I was expecting. I had to cut um, one of the top hat studs off of the old OME Nitro Charger strut. So not at the end of the world, but got that out, got the new one on, fiddled a little bit with how I wanted to mount the reservoir, but I've got it mounted up. Should be no issues with clearance and all of that. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Hopefully it will take a little less time and then uh, we'll get it buttoned back up and back down. We leave for camping tomorrow. Probably should uh, figure this all out, huh? This is the passenger side. This is the OME Nitro Charger strut. And this thing is blown. The piston is not straight. It's bowing out. Uh, the clunking that I was hearing was from the, um, the coil hitting the upper control arm because of the bow uh, when it would be fully extended, uh, it would kick out to the side um, and hit the upper control arm, which is causing an awful clunking sound. So uh, yeah. Knew about it for a little bit now, but was just waiting for the new Dobinson's MRRs to arrive. They actually got in earlier than I expected, which is pretty sweet. Uh, a month, so a month uh, actually earlier than I was told, so cannot complain there. Um, it's really excited to try these things out uh, and definitely excited to get rid of this blown passenger side coilover. Yep, definitely blown. That's ridiculous. When I took it out, it literally just came apart in my hands. So coils are good. Anybody looking for some 887 OME coils? I got them right here. And there's another one over there. Well, they're in. Stance is still looking good. Just a little bit of rake so that when we load down the rear, it should sit just how we want it. I did not do the rears with the MRR adjustables yet. Those will be coming with some extended travel springs um, down the road. Hopefully by the end of the year here, I'll get that done. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Just took it for a quick spin, uh, just down the street and down around um, over a couple speed bumps, which we have on the road down to the beach and uh, it feels great. It's a night and day difference over the, uh, the old stuff. Um, even before the shock blue, um, these are just worlds better. So really excited to keep kind of playing around with them. Uh, this camping trip that we're doing, like I said, is just some um, campground camping. So we're not really gonna be doing any wheeling or anything like that. So uh, I'll keep fiddling with them and then uh, definitely put them to, to their paces for real uh, as soon as I can here, so. Uh, yeah, it took longer than I thought, but uh, they're in there. Happy about that. I've been having some uh, dash lights coming on and off a little bit intermittently and uh, did confirm that my passenger side ABS line is uh, shot and needs to be replaced. So uh, there's a bunch of blinking lights on the dash and stuff like that because Toyota wants you to know when one of those ABS lines goes. Uh, so I'll order the harness and pick it up when we get back in a week and get that on there. We'll just live with the lights for now. But other than that, really happy i uh, can't wait to use these things off road but for now don't have to listen to the clunking anymore which is what i want cool all right well that's gonna wrap up a, uh, a weekend of projects and we got some packing going on for the camping trip as you can see right here um so we're gonna get packed and then we'll check in with you guys once we're uh, at camp